Oh, sorry about that. Hello there. I was just cleaning my screen. Don't mind me. I guess I was cleaning your screen from the inside. Anyway, hello everyone. My name is Question Mark, and this right there. <laughs> Damn camera and its mirroredness. Fuck you, your mirrors. I have the option to flip it, too. <laughs> it could be like, over there, and it, I'd actually be pointing over there the way I... I shut up, Mark. This is an early look at Dungeon Souls, and you'll see my face. My beautiful face. Isn't it so precious? Probably can't even see my eyes blinking. <laughs> I can't, so obviously you can't. My hand's on my hip just so you know. <laughs> All right, so while I fiddle with my earbuds, as always, this is a top-down, isometric, sort of dungeon crawler, roguelike kind of thing, just like every other one, only this one's slightly different. How does that make sense? It really doesn't. It really doesn't. There are millions of these. Millions. And I am terrible at them all. I am so bad at them. But this one's got a cool thing. It's called Dungeon Souls, which works out great because I collect souls. Yes, each one of those is a soul. Yeah. I hope you believe that. Anyway, so what do we got here? We've got a top-down isometric blah 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 like I already said. It has been described as if you took Risk of Rain and Nuclear Throne and made them have a baby. Kids all don't always come out like you want them to. This one's actually pretty good. <laughs> like, it's not perfect. It shares a lot of the same thing. Like, one thing I really like about Nuclear Throne, and I've, I've never played it, I've only seen it. Uh, Nuclear Throne is very bright, it's very welcoming, everything is colorful, everything is, you know, right there, in your face, and it's like, Hi, look at me, hi, 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 I'm here, hi, hi, I'm gonna kill you now! Um, this is very dark. So, let's, we're just gonna ignore the options menu, it's got a bunch of options. <laughs> So let's hop in here. So we've got a few things. This is an early access game. This game is not complete yet by any stretch of the imagination. So stretch those imaginations away. Goodbye. Get go away. You can go now. Yes. You go away, imagination. Go bye bye. Fuck you, imagination. So what do we got? We've got a barbarian. We have an archer. We have a thief. We have an unknown hero. 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 We have a Nightblade. I believe the Nightblade is a new addition. I don't remember seeing him before the most recent update. Though that's entirely possible that I didn't go far enough. I just stopped here because I'm like, oh, the rest are just unknown. So yeah, we'll just go into the Nightblade because I haven't tried the Nightblade. So what do you got? You've got different difficulties. So you've got your normal or your easy, normal, and nightmare. I don't live very long on nightmare. <laughs> Not at all. I've, I've tried nightmare with each of the first three classes. I didn't make it out of the first room. And that first room doesn't have anybody. <laughs> Didn't make it out of the first room. These things are really pissing me off. <laughs> Fuck. So, yeah, nightmare not good. <laughs> Normal, I don't do too bad. I'm getting to the point where I can get halfway through the second level. Yeah, I'm amazing at these games. I aim for the bullets. It's pretty much my thing. All right, so holy hell, this guy's got a hammer. Oh, wow. <laughs> so slow okay so unlike a lot of the other games like this oh my god he's so slow he moves slow he doesn't even hit that hard thick armor weapon switch let's do that one I guess alright so 
Yeah, he really doesn't do much damage. Wow. Like, the Barbarian does more damage. So, as fuck... God damn it. I'm not... I am not liking this guy. Alright, give me that. Oh. Oh, oh, spike ball. Alright, let's... Oh, hello. <laughs> so, you got a nice little ranged attack here. So, the whole point of this is you sit on these things here. Oh my god. <laughs> this thing is so hard to control. God damn it. So, you stand on these things which activate them. Once you've activated them all... Oh, screw you, man. Once you've activated them all, you can then find the one that has the portal open. Yeah, I did not like that guy. Did not like him at all. All right. <laughs> so, yeah, once you've activated all of them, you will activate a portal, which allows you to get out. So, it's really just... Go activate the portal. Don't clean... Do not clear the rooms. Do not even try to clear out all the enemies. They will respawn. Yes. They, they spawn. Uh, Archer, I believe, was my favorite. And there's also passives. So as you gain coins, you can buy these passive abilities, which increase your power, essentially. Whatever the trade is. All right. So here we go. Let's do... Let's do Rain of Arrows. Ooh, what's this? A monster eyeball. See, as you can see, they respawn. Alright. And they will spawn wherever they so desire. Oh, nice. So, what that is, that's a right-click ability. Which... It's just a special ability. As you level up, you gain... Oh, that was stupid. <laughs> As you level up, you gain the ability to increase the level of your different abilities. There are traps. Come on. Stop being hit. Stop walking into the dumbass. All right, let's just restart this. Honestly, I, I want to be able to get through to the second level. Oh, crap. I'll die. I'll die. Get, nope, don't shoot me. The barbarian can actually deal with those little green balls that are coming at me. Oh, you, you I don't like. I am very much not doing a lot of damage. So you always have a heal ability, but it has a fairly high cooldown. Oh, here's a merchant. So I can spend money to get things. Let's get over here. That didn't work so well. Oh, oh got a level. This is good. This is good. Okay, did that guy come out of the chest, or was that just coincidence? Who knows? Who knows? Fuck you. I'm gonna say it was probably coincidence. I probably should have saved that. It would have been more beneficial to me to save that, because it's got a pretty hefty cooldown. And get, get dead. There we go. So let's let's improve that. I didn't actually see what that did, but there we go. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. So like I said, you pretty much just pick up things. Give me that. You don't end up ever dropping anything. Not that I have seen anyway. Yeah, maybe I should have waited. <laughs> Get, get dead, get dead. There we go. Pick these up. 
So your potions, you click at, or click. You press F, you can click down there too, but. Oh god. Alright, no, don't don't bother clearing the room. Alright. Four out of five marks have been activated. And I died because I wasn't paying attention to my health. So yeah, that's basically what you do. <laughs> Only try not to die. Uh, all right, let's 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 show the barbarian. And we're going to do this on Nightmare. Yeah, Nightmare. Enemies have 200% hit points, 200% damage, 50% faster, and 300% experience gain. That is delightful. Can I buy anything? No, because they're all 1,200 or more. Let's revive, and let's hop in here. So, one thing to note is that this is always changing. So you gotta get the four marks. Like, this game is forever changing. Every playthrough, every run, everything is different. Get, get rid of you. Everything is different. All the things. Wow. Get dead. Alright. Let's see what we got here. I don't think I've played this guy enough to know what his uh, right click abilities really are. But they're pretty cool. So, one thing that I f I'm not a huge fan of this is like a mini boss type guy. Get dead. There we go. Um, I'm not a huge fan of, I guess, the styling. How? Wow, that did 83 damage to me. That's insane. Wow. I'm not a huge fan of the whole dark, dank dungeon thing. I feel it's been done too much. And it's kind of getting stale. Now, that is, of course, my opinion. And my opinion accounts for little. Well, that's, that's actually quite nice when you're not... When you've activated it before. Alright. I just... I don't know. I, I, I'm not a huge fan of... Oh, wow. Seriously, guys. That's insane! Look at their health bars! <laughs> so, yeah, this was Nightmare. Let's, let's, let's be done with Nightmare. Let's, let's just go to Barbarian and Normal. I can deal with Normal. So this is a silver chest. You have to get a silver key, which you buy from those merchants. Um, yeah. Basically, I am not a huge fan of the dark, dank dungeon thing. I get it. I get the theme. But one thing that I like about Nuclear Throne, and I have not played it. Again, this is all just from my own insight on the visuals of it. Is simply that it's bright, it's colorful, it's out there, it's very different to, you know, what this is and what you traditionally get in these is just so much different. And in my, oh, chain, no, that's not a chainsaw. <laughs> it's like, it's a chainsaw, dude. Ow. Get out of here, you stupid fly. Yeah, I just called it a fly. leveled up. I already got that one, so I don't know why I went back to it. Oh, God. Oh, that was just an explosion, huh? That's cool. All of you die! We'll all be dead. Nope. <laughs> well, you guys are easy, so that's fine. Let's heal up. So this is a golden key. Get out of here. Alright. 
and there's the portal. So hit space to go to level two. So golden key. I have yet to get a golden key. I have yet to see a golden key. I could have bought a silver key, but I didn't because I chose to buy something else. And this was on one of my earlier runs. All right, is my thing up three more seconds? So on this dungeon, I am actually gonna kind of hang out for a little bit, a little bit more than I normally would. Primarily because I want to show something that I think is kind of cool, but I also hate. I, I like loathe it entirely. Just destroy you. Fuck you all. I will fuck you up. <laughs> Take a potion. Come on. Ow. Just gotta make sure you don't, you know, get yourself killed. What do we got? Three out of four, so I need one more. Oh. Ow. Give me a potion. Oh, crap. This could go bad. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that's the stuff. Oh, yeah. There we go. All right. So now I just need to survive. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah, because I got health regen. So I will... There we go. The Redeemer hath arrived. So this may be something that... Anybody who has played Spelunky. And there we go. There's the Redeemer. Oh god. And I'm dead. <laughs> the Redeemer is very similar to the ghost in Spelunky. Um, yeah. And I don't like Spelunky. And not because of the ghost. The ghost is actually a pretty cool feature, honestly. Um, and so is the Redeemer. I hate him. I absolutely hate him because if I'm lost or... Like, you can get some pretty elaborate areas in this. So if I get lost or just generally confused somehow... Uh, let's do that one. I think that was the one we had last time. Oh, no. That wasn't it. Um... Yeah, if you just, if you're trying to figure out where you're going, it will come in and basically rape your face off. Whereas without the Redeemer, you can take your time. But also without the Redeemer, you have this issue, I guess, where you can just farm the level. And because you get more powerful as you level up, well, you could potentially level up on level one and never, ever, ever have a problem with any of the other levels. So that's, that's kind of a problem, and that's a problem that the Redeemer solves. So I'm actually going to switch this. I don't like this one. I've decided. Suddenly. Alright, we've got three out of five. And let's just deal with this. Let's just fuck you all. Get out of here. Everyone's dead. And that makes me happy. Alright, and we've got some potions. We are doing fine. Oh. Fuck off and die! Fuck you all! Oh wow, hello! Get, get rid of you. Getting rid of that guy is very important because he will spawn new ones. Oh, and the Redeemer's here already. 
Let's grab you. Grab you. I'm not even reading what these things do. Oh shit. Get, get, get out of range. Get out of here. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> the Redeemer, I, I feel at some points could use a little bit of a longer wait. in there. Regen. Regen. Regen health. I do also like that you can't attack the shopkeepers. Because of the way things spawn, it's... <laughs> it'd be very, very dangerous for them to allow you to attack the shopkeeper. Alright, enough of this. I'll just be stuck in this room all day. Fuck you all! You will die, you will die, you will die. Get out of here. So, honestly, some of the balance seems a little bit off. Oh, crap. <laughs> like, and I know that's kind of the nature of the beast. Ah, crap. <laughs> oh, my right click ability was up. Just then. <laughs> Alright, enough. I think we've all seen me die enough. <laughs> that's about that's about average. You may hear me say quite a bit that I'm doing terrible when I'm recording. That was about normal. <laughs> like although on normal I was with the archer. F almost fairly consistently making it to level two when I stopped playing last night. So it's a slight step down, but, you know, it's not a terrible step down. I was able to get to it. Anyway, that was Dungeon Souls. Available on Steam, early access. Uh, I didn't check the price before I started recording and probably would have forgotten even if I had, but I'm going to say about 10 bucks. I don't know. Don't take my word for it. Check it out. Link is in the description. So yeah, that's all I got. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think in the comments down there. Down, 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 over there somewhere, wherever. So yeah, thank you all for watching. Bye-bye. Look, it's my arm. <laughs> Bye.